Hey, what is up guys? Today I'll be playing Rise Top in Grandmaster Elo, and I will be versing Renekton. Um, let's get right into my runes and my setup for this game. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Ability haste, double armor, uh, taste of blood, ravenous, phase rush, mana flow, transcendence, and gathering storm for that scaling. Um, versus Renekton in Italy. Pretty annoying to play versus, actually. Really annoying to play versus. We can uh, set up a dive, and especially because I'm playing in like high high elo, right? Like GM plus, and they it's probably what they'll go for. You know, Renekton just stuns me under tower, nearly EQs me, and bam, I'm dead. So wave control is extremely important this game. Uh, this is a very uh, very rough matchup, but I'll show you guys what you have to do in order to survive, and just you know. Not die, because <laughs> that's your number one goal for now. To not die and scale up. I don't really win 1v1s unless I have him really poked down, but even then he can outplay me. So I'm just looking to scale and looking to control the wave. Okay, we're both starting in lane. I'm play for some mana flow stacks early on. Level 1 is when he's weak, because uh, he doesn't have his dash yet. He probably only has Q. So I can use this brush to just auto him repeatedly. Okay. Now I want to focus on my CSing though. Okay, Gotta make sure I don't lose any of those CS. It's very important. That's what I'm playing for. My win con right now. And I can get some more mana flows. I, I always recommend Corrupting Potion in this lane matchup. Um, you can trade on you pretty hard and heavy. And ideally you just want to avoid dying. And Corrupting Potion really helps you do that. Because if the Renekton has any clue what he's doing, um, he's just going to go on you, you know. I'm just playing for mana flows and just... Trying to thin out the wave. Mm, that's precisely what I would expect him to do there. Once Renekton's level 3, he's really strong. Same with Rise usually, but his level 3 is just so much stronger than mine. It's not even a contest. Alright, I should be fine. Very chunked, actually. First blood. Nice, very nice. Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. They might dive me after too. I can just port back. I just saw Nidalee over there. <laughs> oh my god, Rumble Chow. <laughs> I don't know where this guy is. I have one timer. Drone. Maybe I'll just get some vision here. Lily shouldn't be up here for a little while. Okay, in this matchup, I recommend um, just rushing Everfrost as per usual. But the health is really important. So, I'd probably get. Ruby for Crystal as soon as I can. And I can't really walk up to him because he can trade me. I'm just chilling. It's very good if the wave shoves into you. As long as he can't dive you with that wave and you're actually able to clear it before it hits your tower. 
Yeah. He just really wants to go really aggro on me. Does he? And respecting that is the key to victory in this matchup. You know, if you disrespect it, he will punish you. It's not very hard to play Renekton, you know. Ah, oh, shit. I think we win it though. Wasn't sure what he had, so I just flashed for it. Didn't want him to survive, you know, just wanted to secure the kill. Jesus Christ, Rumble. That needs to chill a little. <laughs> Probably that. No. Get the best of everything here. Rest in peace. My lane's in a really good spot. Decent amount of armor from my runes. Bot's not doing so hot, but it is what it is. Other fuckers. So the key to surviving that is, uh... Nidalee does no damage with her with her spear if she hits it point blank, so that's why I walked directly into her. So I reduced the damage her spear did. They also played that extremely fucking horribly. Um, but it is very important that I play it as uh, as I did to reduce the damage of the Nidalee Q. If that Nidalee Q did max damage to me, I'm just dead. There's no contest. There's no counterplay at all. Here we see Ari down in the mid lane, so we're not going to be interrupted anytime soon. We're just going to channel base, get this plate, and then get out of here. Oh, what the fuck? He's already back. Hmm. That's odd. Nearly could come back up here again. Hmm, I misread the tempo. He got back to lane really fast. He Probably because he uses E dash a lot and he has Merc Tread, so. Fuck. I have a really fucking bad feeling, guys. I feel like I'm about to get dove. Okay. Luckily not. Okay, yeah, we see we see Nidalee. She is in Bot River, so I'm not gonna get dove anytime soon. But he can still do a lot of damage to me, so... And he has ulti. When he has ulti, he's stronger than me. Especially in a 1v1 scenario, so I'm just gonna play for farm safely with my Q here. Okay, you guys know how... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Maybe I got him? Ooh, I got some poke down. Get me out of here, man. I'm almost in kill range. I gotta get out of here, maybe. Uh, Ari has a move soon. Okay, he has no Q, so that's like half his damage. We're just gonna play to clear the wave. Okay, I really gotta get out of here fast. So he can't really do anything to me under my own tower, but if I'm fighting him in the wave, he will absolutely destroy me, okay? So that's why I'm like being really respectful. I just have to be, because this matchup is brutal. It was, a, it was a bit less brutal when Ryze had shields. Actually, I think it was quite good when Ryze had shields, but Ryze doesn't have shields anymore, so... I just have to play it safe. Uh, get to my items, mid-game items, my Everfrost, my Archangels, my Zhonyas, you know? And then I can really carry the game. But this lane, I'm just looking to survive, even though I'm ahead. Even though I have one kill and three assists up on the guy. I can shove out here and then look for vision, because I'll be... 
here before him. So right now he's still walking to uh, back to top lane. Um, I'm already on the wave, and I can look for some vision. Probably gonna look to get some vision in their top side jungle, make it easier for me to play League of Legends. Okay, Grump is down. This is a really good ward you can go for, by the way. It shows both Gromp and blue buff. Okay, now that I'm level uh, 9, I can just one-shot the back line. I don't even have to lane with this guy if I don't want to. I can just shove him in. Okay. Not the worst. I'm, I'm going to look to uh, secure that Scuttler after I shove out this top wave. Level 9 is when you can start actually being a little bit more proactive because your EQ just one-shots the back line, so you can roam, you can also just poke him under tower. Oh shit, and there's a... Man. Oh, did you get it? Got him. Hopefully I'm not locking into her acting. Yeah, we're good. We know Nidalee is topside. She has two plays. Actually, she has three plays. Grom, Herald, or Dive. Oh, never mind. She's going mid. That's a fourth play we didn't think about. Okay. And note how I just called out every play Nidalee has available to her. This That's how you guys should be thinking when you're playing League of Legends. What can they do? What What is their play? You know? And you can go pretty far if you think about things like that. Because once you make it up to uh, Grandmaster and Challenger, like mechanics start mattering less, and decision making starts mattering way more. I don't know if Nidalee's here or not. There might be on Herald, by the way. Okay, we see Lulu now. I can actually play aggro, okay? This is what's called a jungle hover. My jungler is hovering my lane, meaning I can play aggro. Nice, very nice. This top laner is challenger, by the way. He's like 800 LP or something. Um, I'm gonna head down here. They should die. I'm gonna wait for Nautilus to be in range before I start doing anything too much. Okay, Nautilus, please. Oh no. Sheesh! I messed up. I think that's Renekton TP. Wait, this is good? Q him, Q him! Nice, good shit, boys. Not bad, not bad. Get my. Actually, what do I want to buy? 28%. Mm. Squishies. I have a lot of squishies. Okay, I'm gonna try Sorks. I'm gonna try Sorks. Um, reason being, Morello. Or not Morello's. Ionian's got nerfed. It's 50 more gold more expensive. So, so there's only 150 gold discrepancy between these two. Um, but the main reason, the main reason I'm trying Sorx is one, two, three, four. They have four squishy champions and one like Bruiser. So it's high value when you are versus a lot of squishy champions. And also I just want to test it out and I like doing damage. So why not? I'm level 11, I'm extremely strong. Level 11 is Rise is actually stronger than most champions uh, because my EQ does so much damage now. And his base damage is absolutely insane. Okay. Most people would hit this tower and be baited. Um, there could be a Nilly here, here for all we know. But the important factor is that my jungler is bot side. This is what's called weak side. I'm playing weak side right now. Um, yeah, and there's a freaking Ari there, man. Um, and because I'm not on the side of my jungler, uh, I can't really play as aggro as I would like to. I can maybe collect a scuttle though. Not bad. 
I'm not gonna go for as deep a ward as last time. I'm just gonna put it here. Oh, they FF'd? Wow. Okay, well, easy win, I guess. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys learned about the Renekton laning phase. Um, that was a Grandmaster ELO game. Actually, there were some challenges in the game as well. Um, and we'll take a look at all the damage dealt and all that. 23 LP. My MMR in this account is actually really good. Um, that's Challenger MMR, actually. 6.4k damage. Not too bad. Second highest on the team. And just to show you guys, I'm not I'm not messing with you. This guy is Challenger. Um, so, this is how the Rise versus Renekton matchup played out in Challenger. So, hopefully you guys can emulate that and uh, find some success in your solo queue games. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.